Hey guys, it's Risky here and welcome back to another Call of the Wild video. I'm sure most of you have heard about the release dates for the new map Rancho Del Arroyo with PC being released on June 29th and console coming in July. But the real question is, what time in July? Well, I think we all need to hope and pray that it doesn't go anything like the release of Teowara. The Teowara map DLC came out on PC December 10th of 2020. This was actually their plain release date for PC, which is good. They put it out on time. But for console, on the other hand, it really didn't go too well especially for PlayStation. The set release date for both consoles was February 9th, 2021, which by the way is like a month and a half from when it already came out on PC. So that's a long time. A few days later, they announced that Teowara was available on Xbox, but not on PlayStation. Then they finally set a release date for PS4, which was February 17th, 2021. So yeah, I'd say that was a very bad release. By the time it came out on console, all of the PC players were already bored and ready for something new. Teowara and the recent Bloodhound DLC really drove a lot of players away from Call of the Wild, and it's honestly sad to see, and it really affects us content creators, so we just need something good. So hopefully Rancho Del Arroyo is that something good. Anyways, what I'm trying to get at is, did Expansive Worlds learn their lesson with the release of Teowara, or will this release go bad as well? Personally, I really hope it goes great because the game needs it bad right now. And many people wonder the reasoning behind them delaying the console releases all the time, and well, I don't really have a 100% accurate answer for that, but I do know it's not always Expansive World's fault. The console releases normally take a while because I guess it takes a while for, say, Sony and Microsoft to review and validate the DLC before they can actually put it up on the store for people to buy. And since the PC version of the game is on Steam, it's overall just a lot easier for them to get it out faster on that platform because I'm guessing Steam does their validation process a lot differently and it's just a lot easier overall. I'm sure you can look into it more and get really scientific about why it actually takes a while, but that's just a basic summary. If I could take a guess on when Rancho Del Arroyo is going to release on console, I'll have to say either this Thursday, July 1st, or July 6th, which is next Tuesday. And to be honest, I don't think that would be that big of a deal at all. I mean, it's only a week or even less. If it takes any longer than that, then I am prepared to see a bunch of angry console players in the replies of the Hunter's tweets. <laughs> but that's all for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll keep my fingers crossed for you console players. Be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.